Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how I fix the user can't connect to network issue through the switch. We are some users in the office has reported you know they can't access internet with the connected network cable for with his computer and uh, then when the user use Wi-Fi connecting he can access the internet by itself. It's something to do with the not you know, cable that we're connecting. And then we send the technician to go outside, go to the side office and check the issue. So this the first step is he I asked him to connect the network cable with a port on switch one. You see this as switch one. This uh, this is the network diagram for this office. They have the you know this uh, from this network cloud go to physical router and then go to switch one and from switch one connect to switch two and there's uh, some uh, Wi-Fi you know access points here so when I ask him to connect connect the network cable from a port on switch one he can get an IP address fine and he can browse the internet fine and uh, then when he connect network cable to a port on switch two, this one is switch two. He cannot get an IP address and uh, cannot browse the internet. And when he opens the command prompt and he put an IP config, he gets a IP address. This is the private IP address one six nine dot two five four dot five nine dot forty two. This means that he can't get an IP address from DHCP. So and below is the diagram, you know, I show you the diagram for this office. So the switch one connects to the router and the switch two connects to switch one and also the access points and also user if user connects to network cable, this means the some users will connect to the switch one and port on switch one and some users will connect to switch you know port on switch two. And this is the which is the HP a robot switch 48 port and the switch one you know, has 48 48 going to the router you see 48 is uh, on and uh, this uh, you know in the in the diagram that you know is the port 19 connect to the you know from port 19 on switch one to connect to a port one on switch two but if we go there, we see the port 19 is not on line, it's offline. So we see this is port 19. So let's see, if we go to the, you know, take a picture of the outside, we see the port of uh, switch 1, the 48 port is connecting to the router, it's fine. And the port, you know, switch 2, the you know, 48 port is not connected at all, it's not, uh, you know. And if we go to the check for that, we see the port one on switch one is connecting to port one on switch two. So you see that the cable connected from between the two switch. And uh, you know this light is on. This means the connection is okay because this uh, the green light on the port one is on. This light is green. So. So we asked him, I asked him to power off switch two and power it on again and he he can't access get an IP address from switch two. When he connect to switch two, he gets the same issue as you know as this IP address he can't browse the internet. So and he connect to I also asked him to connect to the switch one with switch two with different port because currently it's the port one to one and ask him to connect with other port like from 19 to 1 or 19 to 48 on switch 2 but still he can't uh, access the internet uh, when he connects to switch 2 and uh, we think it may be the configuration loss on the switch 2 because this is the, if the configuration is lost on switch 2 then it will be the default configuration and then I tell him to connect up a port on switch two and set IP address 
to one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two on his computer and also try then try to pin the the fifty four the IP address for the HP switch one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one but he can't pin this IP address. This means the configuration is not 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 the default configuration. He then can pause off the switch two and power on again. And the switch two comes online and then now so this will take a few do a few times and then he checks the port configuration and find that the loop on switch two. Let me let me explain what the loop means. So if we go down we see this on the you know on the wall this is port sixty and the port fifty two. The port fifty two is uh, on the wall is connected to the port thirteen on the switch two. And the port sixty on the wall is connected to the port eleven on switch two. And there is a network cable. There is a network cable connecting between the port sixty and sixty two on the wall. This this network cable here. This is blue one connected to sixty two now, but before that is connected to the other side is connected to sixty. So this causing the the loop you know for the on the switch two. And after we find this issue we unplug unplug the network cable from the you know port sixty on the wall and then the you know switch is online working fine and the user can connect to the you know network cable with his computer fine and the browser is not fine after this. Yeah that's all I show you today. Thank you.